a dog owner whose two bloodthirsty pet Staffordshire Bull Terriers mauled a beloved couple's beagle to death has said he is sorry. Chester the two-year-old beagle had chunks missing from his body after he was set upon by the dogs, a brown Ridgeback Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross and a white Bully Cuda, while he ran around a playing field in Ecclesiastes, Greater Manchester. Paul Baxter, the owner of the dogs, says he is devastated by what happened, and claims that the dogs are usually gentle with his three-year-old daughter. Chester, pictured with his owner Jennifer, was ripped apart by the two Mastiff-type dogs. Paul Baxter, the owner of the dogs, right as Brown Ridgeback Staff Debo, says he is devastated by what happened. A white bully Kuda, Loki, have apparently always been model pets at his home. Related articles previous. One next. Let parents read children's private Facebook posts. Father who sexually abused 13-month-old Poppy Worthington. Share this article. Share script dm. Later, bundle, function, if, dm. Rotator, new dm. Rotator, p27, pages eyes, 1, page count, 1.0, active class, active, rotate, false, dollar, number p27. Share, dot on, click, function, dms. Facebook. Post tof, related. Disturbing video of the attack shows blood pouring from the dog mouths as they savage the defenseless pet near St. Patrick's High School in Winton. Chester, a gift from Jennifer Thornley to her husband Gary for their wedding two years ago, had been let off the lead to enjoy a runaround with his dog Walker when he was brutally set upon. Speaking to the mirror, Mr. Baxter, 35, said, I'm absolutely devastated about what happened and that a couple have lost a dog that was a wedding present. I'm sorry the dogs died and for the owners. I'm sorry what the dog walker had to go through and what I've put my family through. Speaking to the mirror, Mr. Baxter, 35, said, I'm absolutely devastated about what happened and that a couple have lost a dog that was a wedding present. He added, I'm sorry the dogs died and for the owners. I'm sorry what the dog walker had to go through and what I've put my family through. Mr. Baxter said, but my dogs have never acted like this before. They are good with other dogs, they are gentle with my three-year-old daughter. But my dogs have never acted like this before. They are good with other dogs, they are gentle with my three-year-old daughter. Janet Payne, Chester's dog walker, said she was forced to watch him being thrown around like a rag doll and claims when she asked the dog's owner for help, he replied, why the F wasn't your dog on a lead? Peter Moran, the first person on the scene, said never in his life had he seen utter barbaric scenes. In the clip, Mr. Baxter can be seen trying to unlock the his dogs, Debo and Loki's jaws before walking away. Disturbing video of the attack shows blood pouring from the Mastiff's mouths as they savage the defenseless pet on a field in Manchester. A spokesman for Greater Manchester Police said the two dogs have now been seized under the Dangerous Dogs Act. 1991. Police said Mr. Baxter has not yet been arrested, as the investigation is ongoing. MRS Thornley, 29, a hospital doctor, said, he was the most beautiful boy. He was our best friend, we absolutely love him. He was so friendly, so trusting. I don't know what we are going to do without him and I've never seen Gary like this. When I saw him he was in our kitchen he had chunks missing from his little body. I've seen the video, those dogs enjoyed it. What if this happens to a child? We need to do something. Chester, a gift from Jennifer Thornley to her husband Gary, pictured together, for their wedding two years ago. Janet Payne, Chester's dog walker, said she was forced to watch him being thrown around like a rag doll. The horrifying attack was filmed by a passerby who passed the evidence on to police and put it on social media. Dogs banned in UK In the UK, it is against the law to own certain types of dog. These include, Pit Bull Terrier, Japanese Tosa, Doggo Argentino and the Phila Brasileiro. It is illegal to sell, breed or give away these dogs and police or council dog wardens can take them away even if it isn't acting dangerously there hasn't been a complaint. Police do not need a warrant to seize the dog. 
In 2014 the maximum sentence for anyone whose dog kills a person increased from 2 to 14 years. Ms. Payne, 39, was walking five dogs at the time. She said, I was shouting to Chester to come and I looked up and saw two big dogs with something between them. I just knew. I screamed. I clipped the other dogs to a railing and ran to Chester. He was in the middle of the field being pulled all over the place. The little boy was being torn to pieces. Ms. Payne tried to intervene, begging the man walking the pit bulls to help. But she claims all he said was, why the F wasn't your dog on a lead? After around 30 seconds, Chester was dead. Mr. Moran wrote on Facebook, I was the first passerby on the scene to help this poor woman try to calm down never in my life have I seen utter barbaric scenes. Not only was I walking my Labrador but I stayed with the woman until the police arrived and looked after the other four dogs. My heart goes out to the owners and the dog walker. The dog walker was utterly in bits, I wasn't leaving her until the police arrived. My heart goes out to the Beagle's owners can't imagine what they must be going through. Chester's dog walker watched helplessly as he was set upon by the animals. MRS Thornley said, he was the most beautiful boy. He was our best friend, we absolutely love him. He was so friendly, so trusting. Ms. Payne added, at one point the white dog looked at me and I thought I was for it, but he went back to Chester. Then the man managed to get him off and left the other dog with me as he walked off calling for it every now and then. Eventually the blood-covered dog ran after him, he didn't even look back. He just left me screaming in horror with the poor lifeless boy at my feet. Ms. Payne called the police and Mr. Thornley, a 28-year-old a project manager for Barclays. He then rushed to the scene and found his dog mauled to death on the grass. MRS Thornley added, Chester was so funny and made us laugh every day. He followed us everywhere around the house, and if one of us was upstairs and the other downstairs, he'd sit on the top step so he could be between us. Chester's owner Gary found his beloved pet dead on the sports field moments after the horrifying attack. Everyone just loved him, he was a member of our family, a gentle, friendly, loving dog who was just happy to be close to us. The couple took Chester to Scotland two weeks ago where they went on a four-hour hike led by their beloved pet. Mr. Thornley said, he always fell asleep on guests' laps and he was always so happy, he cheered us up. He hated it if we were upset or we hurt ourselves. When Jennifer worked night shifts before her shifts as a hospital doctor, Chester would keep her company during the day, and then be by Gary's side when he was alone at night.